guys, how is everybody? Welcome to another Facebook Friday. It's another Felici Friday. The sun is shining. It's the last day of May. Uh, June is right around the corner tomorrow. Summer, summer, please come, right? Um, so in Michigan here, it's like still <laughs> a little questionable. Um, but like I said, the sun is shining, so that's a good thing. So hopefully everybody had a good week. I'm gonna kind of just chat for a couple minutes while we wait for people to hop on. I see an eyeball there and let's see who's on. Hi, Nikki, how are you doing out in Utah? It's probably sunny and warm and beautiful for you guys by now. It takes a little while longer back here in Michigan for things to heat up. So we're waiting. I'm, I'm waiting. I don't know if I'm saying I'm waiting patiently, but I'm waiting. So anyway, hey, Rosemary, how are you? You're awake. Oh my gosh. Hopefully you've gotten enough sleep, kiddo. Oh my goodness. Um, so let's see what's going on. We had Memorial Weekend last weekend. Hopefully everybody had a great holiday, long holiday weekend. And I have to laugh because I don't know if you guys saw a post that Sandra Johnson um, made on our group, but she was off a day. So she, yesterday, she got up and went to run some errands and was trying to be back home in time for, she's out on the West Coast, so it's 8.30 for her, 11.30 here in Michigan. And then she hops on and she can't find the live anywhere. And then she realizes, oh, it's only Thursday, not Friday. And then another gal posted that she had something similar happen to her. And I was laughing because I'm like, you know, this week, but I've kind of been the opposite. Where like when Tuesday was happening, I really felt like I was on Monday. And so it was one of those like weird adjustments there. So I think everybody's kind of feeling a little like... <laughs> what day of the week it is, is it? And then I know for you retired folks, it's even harder because you literally have no idea what day of the week it ever is, right? Oh, that's funny. So, but I just want to say thank you too because I love that. Kind of really touched my heart. Sandra was like trying so hard to get to the grocery store, you know, get back in time. Um, and I just love that. That makes me feel so good that you guys are like really planning to watch um, Facebook Lives every Friday at 11.30, so thank you. That, I just, I love that. I really appreciate your dedication, too, to coming and hanging out with me. It makes it so fun when I see lots of um, friends joining us. So, and if you're new to Facebook Live, make sure you say hi. I love to meet new friends and new people. Hey, Philomena, how are you doing? Yay, I know, Facebook Friday, right? Yay. So yeah, so I would just, you know, like I said, if you're new to Facebook Live, just hop on, say hello, make a comment, love Love to hear from you any way that you want to communicate with me I love to hear hey Sandra how are you doing um, so let's see we have what do we have going on well the new annual catalog starts on Tuesday next week and I have to tell you guys I have struggled so much the past couple weeks with like do I show new stuff or do I hold off I mean I've been playing with some new things and then I can't even remember yes Sandra it is Friday you got it <laughs> You are on track. I was talking about, you have to watch the beginning uh, after we're done. I was chatting about you just a minute ago. Um, and thank you for the share, Philomena. Um, yeah, so like I said, I've just been kind of struggling with you know, showing new stuff because you guys can't order it yet. You, you could, you know, actually um, for the next few days, if you're just dying to get your hands on some new annual catalog product early, if you get the starter kit, you can order new annual catalog product in your starter kit. So um, if you're interested, let me know and I can get you the link to that. Or if you go to gatheringinspiration.com, there's um, like across the top, one of the tabs says become an inspired stamper. Um, and then you can click on that and it'll get you just right where you need to go to uh, get that starter kit. So, hey Rose, Suzanne, how are you doing? Um, so yeah, Tuesday though is the day. Tuesday, June 4th is the first day that as a customer, and actually even as demonstrators, they limit um, annual catalog time. They always limit what demonstrators can order too. So I know the floodgates are gonna like <laughs> come crashing open as soon as we can get out of the Stampin' Up! website next Tuesday, and there are gonna be tons and tons of orders going in. So, oh, and the other thing too, they decided, and I feel like this was kind of a like a last minute, like, oh, all right, we're gonna do this. They had said originally they weren't gonna discount any of our last chance or retiring products. And then just yesterday afternoon, they changed their mind. So if you haven't checked out the Stampin' Up! website, um, go to that and you'll see there's one of the big um, boxes on like the front homepage says last chance products. So click on that. And then there's actually another kind of icon or box that says, as I think like discounted products or something. So click on that and you can see pictures of everything that is discounted. So you got a couple days to take advantage of some awesome sales stuff. And if you're a demonstrator, you get your discount plus 
you, you know, your regular um, demonstrator discount plus, you get whatever the discounted price is too. So it's like double dipping almost. So lots of good stuff happened. And I think they're finally like, okay, we need to get rid of some of this stuff, some of the retiring stuff. So they're, they discounted it to try to get it on out of there. So take advantage of those deals. You got a little while to do that. And if you're new to Facebook Live too, just so you guys know, um, a little bit later on, I do a couple of projects that I demonstrate. If you put in an online order and use the host code that I will give you in just a couple minutes, um, you always get the projects that I demonstrate for free with your online order. You also get your name in the drawing. I'm gonna show you that in just a couple minutes. Um, and then if you bump your order up to $50, you always get a free embellishment too. So lots and lots of good stuff for putting those online orders in through me, which I so, I can't tell you guys how much I appreciate your business um, if you don't have a demonstrator I would love to be your demonstrator um, I love to kind of give inspiration and ideas um, answer any questions that you have so yeah thank you guys for allowing me to share with you and, and be your demonstrator so thank you thank you um, all right let's see I went like way off tangent so I gotta take a peek at make sure I get back on track here oh um, so upcoming things I am working on the next class to go I don't have it quite finished yet so I'm not I'm not ready to show you guys um, what the next class to go is but it will be awesome new product from our next annual catalog and I'll show you guys that for sure next Friday I have that all ready to go to show you guys um, and then as well um, next events at the stamp studio we have the simple beautiful card class which is on Wednesday sep not September Wednesday uh, June 12th from 6 until 8 30 and then Friday June 14th from 1 until 3 if you're local I would love to have you come hang out with me and make we always make four awesome projects we're gonna use a bunch of new product from our next annual catalog if you can't make it um, you know if you're not local or you just you know it doesn't work for you um, if you put in an online order and use the host code that I will um, it's in emails and things I'll post that to in my blog um, but there's a special host code if you use that host code when you order online you get the projects that I um, that we're making in class I mail those out to you as a thank you for your order so lots of good opportunities um, to stamp with me either locally or on Facebook live or um, yeah just um, getting free projects in the mail too so um, <clears throat> Oh, okay, one last plug, right, for the Everything is Rosy product medley. If you haven't gotten it yet, you can still get it, as far as I know. I, I checked last night. I didn't check this morning. I should, probably should have done that, but I don't think it's sold out. So anyway, the beautiful Everything is Rosy stamp set, and then, oops, those framelit or thinlets are all tucked away in there. But you guys have seen these. They, they cut out most of the flower and leaf images from that stamp set, right? And then you also get, this is kind of, so this is like what I have left of like a couple packages of this stuff. So you get the die cuts, the rose gold die cuts, the designer series paper. There are actually some other die cuts. I'll show you those in a sec on a project. You get that rose gold foil paper and then this beautiful, um, this is like I said what I have left so this isn't even all of it plus the shimmer paint too right you get the rose gold shimmer paint and then ribbon oh let me show you I'll show you these well no I'll show you that in a sec hey Sally how are you doing but this is one of the ribbons that pretty um, I think it's the melon mambo ruched ribbon that those are the other die cuts too. those really pretty floral accents oh fun um, framelit there in rose gold and if you order online the everything is rosy product medley if you order that through me online I'm gonna send you these three projects you've seen them on Facebook live too but I'd love to get these sent out to you I have a whole bunch of these so I'm ready I'm ready to send them to anybody that you know if you just if you have been holding out and you can't hold out any longer hey Sharon how are you doing Hopefully um, things are going well for you. And I think your granddaughter danced last weekend in the Highland Festival, so that's pretty awesome. Um, yeah, so order that Everything is Rosie product, Milly. Today is the last day, like tonight at midnight, mountain time will be your last moment to order if you haven't done that already. So I know it is so tempting, isn't it, Sally? It is. I think it's just because everything coordinates so well. So you kind of open up this fabulous box of products and you don't even need anything else. I mean, well, you might need some cardstock and some ink, but everything else is right there for you and you can just have so much fun. Oh, and actually you get those little, um, I use those little guys, those little mirrored adhesive backed um, embellishments in rose gold too. I think that's it anyway awesome product medley it's $80 I know that sounds like a lot but you get so much stuff in there it's well worth the price plus you get those three projects from me so um, you can order online just go to stampin up.com use the host code I'll give you that in a few minutes 
Um, and it's also always on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com. If ever you're like, where's the host called? What's she talking about? Just go grab it from gathering ink with a K, gatheringinspiration.com. Um, okay, I think we are ready, right? Uh, I'm always like double checking. We are gonna do our drawing for, what are we drawing? <laughs> so Sharon, first runner, that's what I thought. She had to have done really well. So if you guys aren't reading the comments, Sharon's granddaughter was first runner up in her age group and now she gets to go to Vegas. <laughs> Sharon, are you gonna go Vegas, baby? Are you gonna do that? <laughs> hey Paulette, how are you doing? I'm glad you're here anytime. Better late than never, she's saying. So, okay, so this is the, the Call Me Clover, Clover, the Grow Grain Ribbon, right? So it's like an eighth inch, just kind of a skinny little ribbon, but so fun. I love that really beautiful, bright green. So, okay, again, if you're new to, you're going to Vegas, awesome, have fun, Sharon. Um, okay, so if you're new to Facebook Live, you get your name into this drawing. I've got lots of, uh, you can see lots of entries in there. Um, one entry for commenting on Facebook Live anytime between now and next Thursday when I prep for Facebook Live. Um, three entries if you share the Facebook Live video, just make sure you put a comment with your share. And also three entries if you tag a friend and say, hey, Amy, come watch Amy on Facebook Live. Um, you get three entries in the drawing. And then if you're new to me and you just signed up for my email list, you also get three entries um, into this drawing. Oh, and I'm getting a text from Capital One. Okay. Okay, seriously. I have my phone on Do Not Disturb too, so I don't. I was gonna swipe it away, but it went away already. So okay, so now I'm freaking out. Did I did I spend something on Capital One? Like, okay, so someone's got my card probably, but we're gonna carry on. Capital One will handle it for me. <laughs> all right, Susie. Hi, how are you? All right, I'm all like discombobulated. Okay, we're doing the drawing. That's what we're doing. We are doing the drawing for the Call Me Clover Grow Grain Ribbon. And the winner, find one name in this pile of names here. Oops, I've got two, there we go. Hey, Susie. Uh, Essie McCarty. Okay, Essie, you are new to me. I'm thinking you probably signed up for my email list. So Miss Essie, Essie McCarty, M-C-A-R-D-I-E. When you see this, I just need to get an address from you so that I can send you the ribbon, okay? So yeah, just send me, you can, um, just send me a private message and let me know what your address is and I will get this ribbon sent out to you. So that's awesome. Congratulations, Essie. Oh, and you know what I forgot to tell you guys too? I've already done the drawing, but Sunday was my um, random day that I drew this past week. So if you commented or shared any posts that I made or you posted something yourself on Sunday, your name went into that drawing three times as well. So lots and lots of ways to win. Okay, so do you guys want to know? Let me just get that out of the way. I have to show you guys. I'm super excited about these. This is what I'm going to give away next week on Facebook Live next Friday. So these are, have you guys seen these yet? These are the new In Color Faceted Dots. So they come, <laughs> your alarm just went off to watch you. Watch. That's good. Hey, whatever it takes, right, Sally, to remember? Okay, so we have, these are Pretty Peacock, Purple Posy, Rococo Rose. I love saying that. Um, seaside spray and terracotta tile. So they kind of come in like a small, medium, and large, and it looks like you get six, so 18 of each of those colors too. So this is what we are going to give away on next week's Facebook Live. One entry for commenting, uh, any comment that you make, one entry for all of your comments though, okay? Which I hope that doesn't deter you guys from commenting because I love to hear from you. I love to hear what you have to say. Uh, um, you know, any questions that you have, comments, I love to hear from you. Uh, three entries if you share the video, three entries if you sign up for my email list, three entries if you tag a friend, and what else? Oh, three entries for that random draw day where um, comments or shares on a post I've made or share a project you've made and you get three entries. So lots and lots of ways to win. These awesome and you couldn't even order these yet we could order them as demonstrators just um, for the past few well I guess the month of May right so these are just so I love these colors too <laughs> Sally pick me pick me I know that's what everybody says right so okay 
what else do we have going on? Um, oh, I want to give a quick shout out. So one of my downline, her name is Catherine Sprague. She's new to the Inkspired Stampers group, just got the starter kit um, during celebration, and she reached her $300 quarterly minimum. So when you when you buy the starter kit during um, celebration, what's Sharon saying, pick me or Sally? <laughs> okay, we'll see what we can do. Um, so when you bought the starter kit during celebration, you have um, three, well, essentially the first quarter, the first full quarter is what I'm trying to say. I get so excited about telling you guys about this stuff. So once you buy the starter kit, you have what your partial quarter. So if you bought the starter kit January, February, or March, that's like your partial quarter. And then you have another full quarter, so April, May, June. So by June 30th, if you put $300 in orders in, then you've like essentially renewed your demonstrator status and you can keep getting your discount for another three months. So Miss Catherine Sprague has done that already. So congratulations. And I know there are lots of other people that have gotten the starter kit that are working their way along there too. So if you have any questions about the starter kit or interested in the starter kit, let me know because I'd love to. I'd love to get you signed up and become a member of our Inkspired Stampers group too. Um, okay, uh, you know what? So let's see. I want to show you guys. Yeah. Ooh, the paper share. That's what. So I was thinking about what, what am I going to do? And I'm, hmm, shoot, I did mean to bring over um, designer series paper. Okay. So I forgot to do that. And I actually don't even have them all. So I would only be able to show you some of them. So you'll be able to see very soon online. I'm going to be emailing and posting to my blog about the designer series paper share, but this is how it's going to work. Okay. So if you're interested, basically I buy all the packs of designer series paper, and then you essentially get a quarter of a pack of each of the designer series paper. So instead of having to spend, it's like $200 if you want to buy every pack of our designer series paper. This is a great way to basically get a sample. You're going to get a quarter of a pack of each of our designer series papers. So it's they're all going to be six by 12 half sheets, okay? Because um, I don't think there's even anything, yeah, they're all six by 12 half sheets. There isn't really much that is six by six. I don't know if, uh, you know, maybe the feedback was that people don't love the six by six as much. I don't know. It is a little bit more limiting. I still love it because I think it's great for card making. Um, but anyway, so designer series paper share, I'm going to give you, so there is, oh my gosh, how many different? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. I think it's 13. I counted really fast. 13 different packs of designer series paper. I am going to give you the names and I'm going to post this too, like I said, on my blog and we'll be emailing about this, but you're going to get um, six half sheets of the Woven Threads Designer Series Paper, Magnolia Lane, Garden Lane, Follow Your Art, Bird Ballad, Dino Roar, Perennial Essence, See a Silhouette, Come Sail Away, Pressed Petals, we're at 10 already, right? Mosaic Mood, Noble Peacock, and then there's Noble Peacock Foil also, and then Perennial Essence. So I did have that right. So there are 13 different packs of paper. Um, a couple of those... Um, most of them you get six half sheets. Some of them are smaller packs. You only get three half sheets. Um, what else do I want to tell you guys about? But basically, yeah. Oh, well, it is $50 for basically the sampler um, of the designer series paper share. If you need it shipped to you, I'm going to ship it to you priority mail. It's an additional $8 shipping for that. Um, RSVPs for the designer series paper share are due by Saturday, June 29th. And then I will make sure they are shipped no later. And I know this sounds like kind of a while, but I'm gonna be gone on our Stampin' Up! Um, the incentive trip for like the first two weeks in July. So I will, I'm hoping it'll be sooner than this, but I know for sure by Wednesday, July 24th, they'll all be in the mail. And I'm hoping, I don't even get home um, until I think the 15th or so. So I got to give myself some time to get everything um, cut and packed and sorted and sent out to you. Plus probably catch up a little bit on being gone for two weeks. And Tammy, let's see, I'm seeing you're sorry you're late. I have not checked my messages yet. So Tammy, I don't have your message yet, but I will do that and I'll get back to you. Okay. Sorry if I'm uh, hopefully, yeah, I will get back to you though. Um, Okay, so let me know if you guys have any questions. Basically, this is my little flyer that I put together for the designer series paper share. But you, this is, like I said, it's just the best way 
um, I mean, I love the ribbon, I love the paper, well, I love everything, right? That's why we're doing this. Um, but it's a great way to get that sample, get it all in your hands, touch it, feel it, play with it. A lot of times the paper is so much prettier, although I do have to say in this next annual catalog, that was something that they really worked hard on was trying to display it even better for us, and I think they really did a great job with that. Um, but you're gonna love, you're gonna love this paper, and then, like I said, once you find out which ones you really, really love, then you can get full packs of it. So let me know if you're interested. I will be posting about this. Um, you can pay right through PayPal and I'll get this sent out to you, like I said, as quickly as I can. I'm really hoping that's it's gonna be way earlier than that, but I just needed to give myself enough time just to be sure. Um, so yeah, um, what else do we have going on? Oh, one more thing I wanna tell you guys about too. I am doing something called a super summer giveaway. I did this last summer and um, it was awesome. I loved the response from it. Basically, it is a great way to kind of um, stamp with me all summer long and then like win prizes at the end of the summer. Um, so let's see. Okay, and I'm seeing a couple. Paulette, yes, I can get you that flyer. And Tammy, you're interested. Okay, um, well, I will have it posted in, and then um, you can click on the links and get right through PayPal. It's super simple and easy to do it that way. Um, Okay, so super, su sorry, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I'm trying to like answer questions and like keep my head on track, which <laughs> it's not always easy for me, ladies. Um, okay, so yeah, super summer giveaway. Basically, you can earn entries into the drawing all summer long. So it starts on June 1st and runs through August 31st. You got June, July, and August to get entries into the drawing. I am going to have fabulous new product. This will be from our next holiday catalogs. We're going to do the drawing at the beginning of September. I'll be able to get some bundles and some other fun product. Um, last year, people just loved like everything that we gave away. I can't even remember how much. It was like um, a few hundred dollars that we gave away in prizes from um, the next holiday catalog it will be. But this is how you can get entries in all summer long. And I know some of these are more local, um, but there are definitely long distance options too if you're not local. So one, you get one entry for each event that you attend all summer long. You get two entries for every $50 that you spend. Um, and that that's online as well. Oh, all right, getting the paper share. Thanks, Nikki. Um, let's see, you, and this is the one that I wanna make sure everybody understands. You get two entries for every time you post a picture of a project that you've made that's like the one that I demonstrate on Facebook Live. So either it uses the stamp set that I use on Facebook Live that week, or it's like the layout, like the design of the card is the same and then you can use whatever stamps and um, embellishments and designer series paper that you would like. So those are the two ways, either use the stamp set or use the layout. And you need to use the hashtag super summer giveaway. So, right, we do that like hashtag super summer giveaway when you post so that that way that'll be help it um, make it easier for me to keep track of everybody's entries too. So then I can go back like at the end of the month or end of the summer and pull everybody's um, postings that, with that hashtag, the super summer giveaway, and your name's gonna go into the drawing two times for every single time you post um, on our Facebook group, okay? Um, you also get two entries for every new guest you bring to a class. You get three entries for joining either a, a club, I guess I should say, and this includes Simple Beautiful Card Club, Scrapbook Club, and then if you're long distance, Paper Pumpkin and In Color Club count too, okay? If you have not gotten the starter kit yet, you get five entries if you get the starter kit um, anytime between June 1st and August 31st. And then also finally, another five entries if you would like to hold a private party or a class down at the stamp studio. And I am learning about Facebook live parties too, or Facebook, Facebook group parties, I think they're called. So if you're long distance and you're interested in doing like a Facebook um, party online, let me know. You'd get five entries in the drawing for that as well. So I'll be mentioning that um, kind of as the summer goes on, but just make sure to use that, that super summer giveaway hashtag when you post a picture of a project like we do on Facebook Live and your name goes in the drawing, okay? Um, so good, good stuff. It's a great way to kind of stay interactive and informed and up to date on what we're doing and um, yeah, hang out with me too. I love to have you guys hang out with me. So thank you. Um, all right, what else, what else, what else? 
I think, oh, okay, so I just wanna show you guys, um, because I don't, uh, normally this is the time when I would do the other drawing. If you put in an online order of at least $30, your name typically would go in the drawing to win whatever I'm gonna give away. But last week I decided everybody that ordered at least $30 was gonna get, so the projects that I demonstrated last week, so every order of at least $30 is gonna get both of these cards sent out to them. They'll be going out in the mail this weekend. And then you also, and I just, I have to show you guys because I love like this fun pile. These are all of our in color ribbons. So this, and I will not, I will not send it in this heap like this, but I thought it was kind of fun to show you guys, right? So the, this is two yards of all of our in color ribbon. So your $30 order, every single one of them is getting, I cannot pick these cards up again, right? Is gonna get both of these cards mailed out to them and the sampler, two yards of each of our in-color ribbon, it's awesome. And then if you bumped your order up to $50, you're also gonna get, and I have to, you guys, I know I showed you these last week, but I love them so much. So today is the last day. If you put your online order in of at least $50, you will get a package of these embellishments as well. I cannot order them until June 4th though, so just have patience with me. I will get them sent out to you as soon as I can once I can get them all ordered for everybody. So I wanna let you guys know that, but yeah, Great stuff that you get with your online orders, which I, like I said, I really, really appreciate those orders too. Um, okay, so let's see, let's see. Okay, oh you guys, okay, I've been holding out. So I don't know if you caught this, but I kept saying like, so that everything is Rosie Product Mentally. I ordered a couple of them because um, I wanted more of the ribbon and the paper, like all of the consumable stuff, and that was the only way I could get it. So I was like, you know what I'm gonna do at the end of May? I am gonna give away, this is the Everything is Rosy, the stamp set and the thinlets. So if you put in an online order just of at least $30, you guys, between now and next Wednesday, your name is gonna go in the drawing to win this awesome stamp set and thinlets. How about that? Because I was like, gosh, you know, I'm gonna end up with this extra stamp set and thinlets, and what am I gonna do with it? So I'm like, you know what, I'm giving it away. Um, so yeah, put your online order in. I'll give you the host code. It's always at gatheringinspiration.com. And you could win next week. I'm gonna do the drawing for the stamp set and the thinlets, okay? Um, all right, I think we are good to go. There's like such a, <laughs> sometimes I wanna just put the camera down so you guys can see. I, I am organized, but man, I tell you what, once I start talking, I guess my mind is like a blur. But okay, I think we're ready. You guys wanna do some stamping? I know you're ready. We're always ready, right, for that stamping? Okay, so turn your heads away for a sec. We're gonna flip the camera down. Okay, and let's see what we've got. Okay, flip. There we go, okay. Got here. Hold on, I gotta adjust things just a little bit. There. Oh, that's weird. Okay, sorry. Ha! Huh, Tammy, organizing the craft room. <laughs> Love it. I did that last weekend too. I'm trying to get ready for my new catalog kickoff and the buy one, get one free sale at the end of the month. So I went through and cleaned out my craft room too. It feels so good, you guys. <laughs> okay, so new host code starting, and you know what, honestly, if you use the one that's on my blog right now or you use this one, they're both gonna be open for a little bit. So I'll be watching both of them. But this is the new host code for June. So it's G7R2SRES. So when you use that host code, your name will go in the drawing to win the Everything is Rosy stamp set and the Everything is Rosy thinlets. Okay, um, let's see. Okay, I'm trying to decide if I, yeah, I really think I have shown you guys everything. Okay, so, um, oh, I know, okay. So I was telling you guys, <laughs> um, I was telling you guys about the In Color Club and I just have to show you guys because I realized, so I had brought my little flyer over. Actually, we're gonna scoot this out of the way for a sec, right? So I had shown you guys the flyer and I was like, you know, I think I really need to show you all the product too. And I'm working, I'm just about, I did a video because I wanna upload that too to show all of the new in colors. So once I get that uploaded and I'm gonna get the email sent out with the links for PayPal to get you guys signed up if you're interested in the in color club. So like I said last week, it's a five month club 
Oh, I was like, oh, good, UPS man's here. He probably didn't even see me. <laughs> I just heard the door buzz. Um, okay, so it's a five-month club, basically meaning you're going to get one of each of the five ink colors every month in all of the products. So you are going to get a full pack. Say one month is Seaside Spray. You're going to get a full pack of Seaside Spray cardstock. You are going to get the Seaside Spray ink pad. You are going to get the Seaside Spray ink refill. You are also going to get a full 10 yard bolt of the scalloped linen ribbon. You are going to get the Seaside Spray Stamp and Write marker, which is not this one because I can't order it yet, but I wanted for visuals, I wanted you to see that you're getting the marker. And then you're also going to get the Stamp and Blends. Again, not Seaside Spray yet because I can't even order these things, but you will get the Seaside Spray Stamp and Blends markers. And then finally, you will get all eight sheets of the Designer Series paper in Seaside Spray. So can you guys see what a fabulous lot of products you will get each month there, plus one month you are the host and you will get a package of these in color faceted dots the month that you're the host along with $20 in free merchandise, anything you want. So you pick that um, and I order that and get that sent to you with everything else um, in your in your monthly in color club product so if you're local you can do um, the studio pickup and the shipping fee is waived otherwise it's eight dollars each month to get everything shipped to you so let me know if you have any questions i will be posting on my blog and i'll be emailing the links um, for paypal too so you can get set up on that also um okay so yay good stuff i love this time of year with all these fun new in colors they are gorgeous all right, I'm gonna scoot that back over there now. So we have, that's always a good marker for me to make sure I'm staying on track. Okay, we're gonna get our grid paper. Let's see, there we go. All right. Um, sorry guys, I just have to, always have to make sure, right? Okay, so have you guys been enjoying the product of the week this week? This was one of those stamp sets that I absolutely loved when it came out in our annual catalog last year. Well, this is like a heavy bin of stuff. So we are gonna make a project with that abstract impression stamp set. So beautiful because I think because of all the layering that you can do, um, the kind of two-step stamping with all the fun detail that you can create, and so many different things that you can do with this stamp set. Plus, I love the sentiments, right? There's so much to love about you, kindness changes everything there's a thank you if flowers were hugs i'd send you a thousand and so happy about your happy news love that stamp set right okay so i have to show you guys this is the card that we're making that uses can you see this is the new purple posy um, cardstock now i was a little bit limited i actually this um card if you go to i think it was on the abstract, abstract impressions stamp set that page there's a card very similar to this um, in the catalog i was limited though because i don't have the purple posy ink pad there's something that's happened with the manufacturer so Stampin' Up! is working with them. So that's probably the one in-color ink pad that you won't be able to get on June 4th. Um, we as demonstrators, um, I think a few of them got ordered and then something, like I said, wasn't quite right. So you really have to give credit to Stampin' Up! that they're not just like shipping out those bad ink pads. They put a halt on ordering. Um, as demonstrators, we couldn't actually order that yet. So once they get it fixed, then it will be available to order. So I had to kind of make do with what I had and I'll show you what I used to actually make this card, okay? So let's see. We also used, um, these are some of the frosted flower embellishments. I've got just a few left on that one. These carried over from the Occasions catalog, so we can still use those. And then we used some stitch tape framelits and some other good stuff here. So let me actually, I'm gonna kind of pull this out and we will get started. Oh, I know, we used the Beauty Abound stamp set too, okay have quite a few stamps because of kind of the layering that you do on these things. Uh, okay, we got that one. <clears throat> I'm gonna scoot that over there. <coughs> Excuse me, I have a tickle in my throat. I think it's time to get the 
get a sip of water. Mm. Okay, so let's see here. What are we gonna start with? Um, where'd my card go? I moved it, oh, right here. <laughs> okay, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so we have, this is a piece of, like I said, the Purple Posy cardstock. Somehow I feel like I do not have enough room today. Okay, so it was originally a piece of, look at that color, you guys probably can't even see how beautiful it is. This is such a pretty pale purple, just beautiful. Okay, so we originally had a piece of eight and a half by 11 inch cardstock. I cut it down to nine inches, so lop that off right there. Then I cut it in half along the eight and a half inch side at four and a quarter inches, and then I still scored it at five and a half inches, okay? So it's a nine by four and a quarter scored at five and a half, okay? And that's how that's gonna go together like that. And then let me show you the rest of what we were doing here. So we are gonna stamp, actually, on this piece right here, I used, this is Rich Razzleberry cardstock. Let me give you that dimension too. So this one measures two inches by five inches of Rich Razzleberry cardstock. And we used, um, this is the Beauty Abound stamp set, and we used that little kind of um, water splotchy, speckledy image from that one. Those are always fun, just like little background stamps to use. Okay, so we are just gonna ink this up and we're gonna stamp kinda all over uh, the edges, really, because it gets covered up quite a bit. There, so you saw just kinda tap, tap, tap and stamp right on there, right? All right, I gotta move this card. I keep looking for it. <laughs> it's not where I'm thinking it's gonna be. Okay, then this piece, we actually used our banner triple punch. We're going to slide that in because it's just perfectly two inches wide. And we're going to kind of make banners or flags on either the end of that piece. Okay. Then we are going to stamp right on our purple posy card base with, let's scoot that one out of the way. I used Versamark. Versamark ink pad because this one kind of makes it look like a watermark essentially on and sorry I got some black ink in there it looks almost looks like mold but it, <laughs> it's black ink so the thing is you just have to ink this up pretty well and then and it's going to be super faint I don't know if you guys are even going to be able to see it too well but we're just gonna kind of ink stamp these guys all over and it was okay if I kind of um went over top of because you can't it's not it's so faint right so can you guys see that so that's how you can kind of get away with not having a purple posy ink pad but almost it's kind of like stamping a purple posy um ink right on there okay so that's that then we are going to grab this is just a scrap piece of my uh, Whisper White cardstock. And you know what, I was curious. I'm gonna use my Blackberry Bliss. I have Rich Razzleberry and Blackberry Bliss ink. So on this card, I stamped the Kindness Changes Everything in Rich Razzleberry, but I'm kinda curious to see if I like it with the darker color. So we're gonna try it with this one. So I've got my Blackberry Bliss ink, my Kindness Changes Everything stamp. I'm gonna stamp that there. I love, I love Rich Razzleberry. I know I love that. So we're gonna die cut that with our um, framelits in just a moment. Then, okay, so to do our stamping, let's see, I think I have some extra pieces here. Um, oh, I know, because, well, let me show you what I, what I did as far as stamping, okay? So we are gonna use our Rich Razzleberry ink first. I know Philomena, loving that. Blackberry Bliss. Okay, so on Purple Posy cardstock, they actually, I believe, stamped Purple Posy ink and then maybe Rich Razzleberry or Blackberry Bliss over top of it with the other stamp. Since I didn't have the Purple Posy, I decided to do it this way. So I've got Purple Posy cardstock. I've got Rich Razzleberry ink. I'm going to stamp that to kind of stamp off. And then you see that kind of made it lighter. And then I'm gonna go back with my Blackberry Bliss ink pad 
And I've got, so this is the, hmm, let me show you. Maybe easier. Where's my stamp set? Right underneath here. So we're using this stamp in Rich Raspberry ink, and then we're gonna use this stamp in Blackberry Bliss ink, okay? So let's do that. Okay, so I've got my Blackberry Bliss ink. And you know what I realized? If you can see on here, it's almost like there's a little triangle in the middle of that. And you see it's almost like there's a little triangle in the middle right there. That's how I lined things up. And the cool part is this is supposed to be a little bit abstract, so it's not supposed to line up necessarily perfectly, which I think is pretty fabulous. Okay, now I'm probably um, tricking you guys a little bit. Well, because there aren't dies to um, cut these out. The Springtime Impressions dies that are somewhere around here. How do I have everything so... Hmm. Oh, maybe I didn't even bring them over because we don't actually... No, we do use them. Hmm. Oh, there they are. <laughs> so the dies that coordinate with the Abstract Impression stamp set, the Springtime Impressions Thinlets, are just a bunch of details, like super detailed dies. We're actually going to use this one, and I'll show you in a sec what we're going to do with that. But the other two that come, there's that beautiful butterfly and then that little um, flower. So that's it. There's nothing that actually cuts out this image or the little leaves. So I actually had to use my paper snips to cut this image out and it ended up right there and right there, okay? Um, hey, Marianne, how are you? Oh my gosh, you're gonna be a grandma again. Oh my goodness, congratulations, May 31st, baby, that's fun. Oh, how exciting. Okay, well, I can understand you have other, other priorities today, I get that. Well, congratulations and enjoy. Oh my goodness. Okay, so then on a piece of Whisper White cardstock, we are going to use the little leaf stamps. And same idea, I'm gonna ink up that little leaf, can you see? So we are using this one and then that one right there. So we're gonna ink them both up in Granny Apple Green ink, but then we're gonna stamp off one of them. So we're gonna ink that up, stamp it off there, and then stamp that. And then again in Granny Apple Green, but this time we're not gonna stamp off. And I have learned if I use my pointer finger to kind of help me guide my stamp, I really like what that does for me. Um, I don't know if, I don't know if, I'm, I'm not really shaky, but I feel like somehow that just helps me kind of guide things a little bit more. So that's the idea with that leaf. And you can see I actually, cut, um, stamped and cut seven of them on there, the little leaves, and then two of the flowers. So um, that is so easy to do too. With your paper snips, I think the biggest thing, and actually down here, you don't even have to get that close, um, up around the edge here. And do you see, it's almost like I'm kind of moving the paper with me, like my scissors are kind of cutting but I'm kind of just rotating the paper through my scissors. And then this one, same idea, where we're gonna just kind of, and I like that it's um, not so perfect. Oops, I'm gonna make sure I'm actually getting that into view, right? So we're just kind of, and everyone is gonna look a little bit different, but the funny thing is, if you time this, I really don't think that it takes too much more time than getting your big shot and getting everything set up and lined up. Like, look at that, I'm done. I've already cut both of those out. So I already, I cut the rest of them so you wouldn't have to sit and watch me cut like all nine of these things out. Um, and those are in my little baggie right here. So we'll have those ready to go. I realized I forgot to bring my big shot over though. So I'm gonna go grab that. And I think I've also just realized that I used the, <laughs> all right, we're gonna be okay. I used the wrong piece. I knew it was funny because I had this little piece right here that I was supposed to stamp my flower on. I'm like, well, I'll use this one instead. But this one right here, what is the size? Is a piece that I need to do my die cutting. <laughs> ha, 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 ha. Okay, but I can figure this out. This piece, oh yeah, it's four and a quarter by two, which I think this one, is two. Okay, so I don't have my, um, <laughs> let's see. I'm trying to cut this with my scissors at four and a quarter inches. 
I think it's gonna be all right though because it's that. Yeah, I probably could have just gone longer. There we go. Okay, so now I have the strip that I need. All right, one sec, ladies. Oh, hello, hey, Debbie, how are you? You're in Michigan too? Hey, it's good to have you on. I'm in Michigan also, up in Alma. You have to tell me where you are. Let's see if I've missed anything. Thank you, you love those colors, Philomena. And Marianne, thank you for the share. Okay, hold tight, one sec. I can go grab that big shot, I'll be right back. All right, so we are going to do our die cutting of, let me show you. You guys want to know what we're, I showed you the card. Do you know what we're going to die cut now? So we're going to do this edge right here using, and I'll show you on the inside. I put a little strip. You can almost see it better there, right? That die right there is this full piece. And then we're just going to use along this edge of it, okay? So I'm gonna lay my paper down and, oops, I gotta scoot that up a little bit more so the die is on. And there we go. We're just gonna run that like that. We're gonna put our other clear cutting pad and bear with me, this probably is going to wiggle. Thank you for the share, Debbie, also. Okay, hold on one sec. I love to kind of go back and forth a few times with these really detailed um, thinlets dies and makes it easier uh, to kind of get everything out of there. <laughs> okay, so sometimes, <laughs> I really was so prepared, ladies, but now I didn't bring my Big Shot die brush over either. So let's see if we can, I'm gonna use my paper snips here. Come on. All I'm doing is pushing the little, I need one of them to help me. I know, we're gonna use, we're gonna do this right here. Okay, so I wouldn't recommend doing this. There we go, all that worked pretty well. Just be careful you don't stab yourself. Well, I thought it did. It popped up and then it went right back in the die. There we go, now we're all set. So isn't that gorgeous? So we're just gonna scoot all of this stuff out of the way. Okay, we don't need our big shot any longer. So this is the piece that we're gonna use, right? I wanna get rid of a few more of those little babies. <laughs> um, we need, this is what I want to do. I want to adhere this now on the back of this piece here. Okay, so we're going to fold this and I'm actually going to, let's see, where's my adhesive? Okay. And this is one where I'm kind of debating, do I want to, so this piece is going to go right about there like that and we're going to have to maybe trim a little bit off depending on what we want to see there right okay so it's going to go something like that on there so i think what i'm going to do i'm going to just add some adhesive along this part right here and i like to use i'm going to go a little while there i like to use this silicone mat because that helps me not get adhesive all over. There we go. Actually, I need to scoot that over a little bit more because I see where it, my adhesive is. Right about there. So we just kind of want it peeking out from the edges. And then maybe you just want to kind of snip that little baby off. So if there's anything kind of hanging off the edges, just kind of snip those off. And I'm going to use this to press down firmly to get that onto my card. Okay? Then... Isn't that so, I love, I love that alone. Isn't that so pretty? That little detailed border um, kind of over top of that purple posy. I love how that looks too. Okay, so next we are going to put some adhesive on our banner piece. And we are gonna lay this maybe right about there. Okay, so we're gonna add that on. Then we need a strip of purple posy. This is that scalloped linen ribbon. I'm gonna just do that. So we just need a little strip of that like that. And I'm going to add some adhesive. And then I'm just gonna kind of lay this on here. And we can always snip it if we need to cut it down a little bit, which I might wanna do, but we're gonna do that later, okay? And then I'm going to grab my dimensionals 
and all of my little bits here. Hey Louise, how are you doing? Oh, and Philomena, I know, isn't that, all the detail on that die is just so pretty. Okay, so I got all of those, all, hmm. Oh, I know what else I need to do. I gotta cut this piece right here. I was all ready to put all those, adhere all those flowers and leaves around behind my sentiment, right? Like it is on here, but I need to actually cut that. So let's do that real quick. And we're gonna hopefully not lose anything. So that's right, I need to do this one too. All right, let me grab this big shot again. <laughs> I have all of these. Um, okay, there we go. I was trying to clean that plate off because it's got all of those little purple posy bits on there, but I think that's this will work all right. There. <laughs> there we go. Okay, now we need the stitched shape framelits, my fave. I love these things. I use them all the time. This is the second largest oval in those stitched shape framelits, and it just fits perfectly around there. So we're going to do that. And... Yeah, these detailed dies are great, but they sure do leave a mess. <laughs> I'll be I'll be cleaning that up later, ladies. Okay, so we're cranking that through. Okay, I'm just gonna pull that out. Okay, so we've got that one right there. Awesome, all ready to go. Now we can put our leaves and flowers. We can kind of attach them. And let's see. Oh, yeah, I have extras now, don't I? Because I cut those out in front of you guys, too. Okay, so I thought it was almost easiest to... Uh, I'm confusing myself. That's on the top. There we go. So we're going to put one of these flowers. I just kind of like to add the adhesive there. Then where's my little mat here? I want this guy again. Because these little leaves, I thought it was easier to actually put some adhesive right on the bottom. So wherever um, I have like a little bit more white, I consider that to be the bottom because I didn't worry about um, cutting that off quite so much. So we're gonna maybe add one there and one there, okay? Then I'm gonna come over and I wanna put some adhesive down on the bottom for my other flower, maybe right about there. Okay, and then again, just on kind of the tip, the bottom tip of a few of these without those sticking together, right? <laughs> there we go. Okay, so we're gonna pop that one maybe there, put that guy. So they're just kind of peeking out behind all of those things. And then let's do one more. We're gonna put one right there, right? Love how this is building. And then some more again at just the bottom tip of those leaves so I can kind of stick those right on. We're going to put one there. Isn't this beautiful? And oh my gosh, I love that alone. Isn't that so pretty? So definitely a little bit of work involved, but I think the effort is definitely worth the outcome there. Now I'm going to press firmly to make sure that's not so pretty on that side, right? <laughs> but that is beautiful, isn't it? Okay. I have to remember, I thought I put this on with dimensionals. Yes, I did. Okay, so now we are gonna add some dimensionals. Oh, I'm like, I thought I brought them over and then I couldn't find them because I already moved them. And what I kind of like to do is um, strategically kind of put them so they're gonna hold these things kind of in place all together on there too. We're gonna put one more right in the middle there. So that'll kind of help keep everything together once I've put those dimensionals on the back there too, okay? And let's see, have I forgotten anything? I don't think so, okay. So now this is the week that I'm gonna get a million online orders <laughs> because these cards are kind of time consuming to make, right? <laughs> that will be, now I will not complain, not at all. I appreciate those orders. So yes, and you would get this beautiful card here in the mail. Now I love, so I have to kind of cut these off a little bit at an angle. So I'm going to do that one like that and that one like that. Okay. Then the last step is to just add a few of our flower faceted or yeah, frosted flower embellishments. Sorry. Those names kind of confuse me after a while. So we're going to put one 
right there. And then one more, maybe right down there. So what do you guys think? Isn't that beautiful? And you just see that little hint behind there of the purple posy as if I used my purple posy ink pad, but instead I used my Versamark ink pad. So isn't that, oh my gosh, and I love oh, the detail. I love the layering too with um, the detail that that creates too with the layering of the different colored stamps on there. So yes, love it, love it, love it. So that is my final feature of our product of the week the abstract impression stamp set on there, along with those springtime impression thinlets that create that beautiful detailed die. Okay, so bear with me ladies one sec. I have to kind of, I will go crazy if I have all this stuff in front of me because I won't remember which one goes with which. Um, if I have the, you know, I'll start using the wrong stamp or something, the wrong ink pad. Um, on my card, which would not be good, would it? All right, so let's see. Now you guys wanna see the other project that we are gonna make. So I, I've been having so much fun showing you guys all of our in colors um, that that's what I'm gonna show you on this next. Oh, actually, hold on one sec. I forgot. Back to the Abstract imp Impressions stamp set. I have a few swaps, um, some really pretty cards that I had down at the stamp studio that I was like, you know what, you guys need to see these things. So this is some of that springtime, or maybe this is the Garden Impressions designer series paper, still available. And then here's some more stamping with that same Kindness Changes Everything sentiment. That was a swap that I got from Kathy Schaefer. Um, I'm not really seeing a blog on there too. Mm, nope, it looks like an email and her website, but not, or I'm um, stamping up website. Then this one, check this one out. Okay, so there's so much to love about you. And then that beautiful detailed butterfly, right? That's one of those springtime impressions thinlets. And look at that, isn't that cool how that opens up? So she used one of those label punches to hold it down and then also to make the butterfly flaps go through there. This is one of those cards that I had meant to make for forever and I just hadn't. And this is a card from Georgia Jaguar, I think is how you say her last name. Isn't that so pretty? <laughs> love that, love the detail, the sparkly butterfly, right? And when you send it, you could probably fold that over like that so that the edge isn't caught in the, in the envelope. Okay, and then one more, because I love this fold too. This is one I'm gonna have to try on a card. So again, the Garden Impressions Designer Series paper, some of the um, Abstract Impressions stamp set, right? And then isn't this cute? This little guy opens up, and then that one opens up. Isn't that so fun? So just a simple, and then if you're like pressured, if you don't like to write a lot inside your card, <laughs> you only have that little teeny tiny spot you have to write on. You could probably write over here too, right? But isn't that so pretty? I love, love that idea too. Oh, and who's that one? That one is from Meg Lovin at lovinstamps.com. I, I know her work. She does a lot of really fabulous projects. So, okay. Um, let's see. I think... I think now I can show you guys. So I kind of got off track there because um, I had this pile of stuff over there that I thought I should show you, right? Okay, and here I'm like, oh, I gotta tidy up a little bit. Okay, um, so the next project that I'm gonna show you, actually I'm gonna show you these first. So these were the make and takes that we made at our group gathering a couple of weeks ago that featured all of our new in colors. Okay, so this one is the Seaside Spray, so you can see the pretty stamping, love the ribbon, just a little um, detail on there with one of our new stamps, and I'll show you that in a sec too, okay? Then this one is the Pretty Peacock, right? And I like to keep these cards really simple so that they really just kind of showcase and feature the new um, in colors without anything else competing. This one was the one that was tricky because I didn't have the purple posy ink pad, so I had to stamp and crumb cake, but I think that's a great substitution too. Um, either way, you know, if, um, if you wanna use the card base color or the, the kind of accent color, either one works. And then the Rococo Rose, isn't that so pretty there too? And then last but not least is my terracotta tile. Um, and I have to show you guys too, if you can see, the ribbon works well with both crumb cake and Sahara sand cardstock. If you can kind of see that on here too, right? Um, any either of those card base colors work really well with um, 
with that, the linen, I guess, the linen looks like it could be Sahara sand or crumb cake, okay? So we are actually gonna make this card right here in Seaside Spray, I think because it's one of my, no, I'm sorry, we're not, I forgot. <laughs> I was doing that for something else. We are gonna make, this one's a little bit different. I used a different stamp set on here, and I'll show you that in a sec along with this die, but same card layout, right? And my one last attempt to feature the Everything is Rosy stamp set, I had to use that little baby flower stamp right there in there because I thought it was so pretty and dainty too, okay? So this is just a quick, simple card for you guys. And, oh, this is the stamp set that we're using. Love this stamp set, the Well Said stamp set. It is a 51 piece stamp set. So you can do just about anything that you need to with this stamp set. So many great sentiments. You can build um, kind of lots of great sentiments as well with that stamp set. And then the, the coordinating well-written framelits. Now, just so you guys know, that well said stamp set and the well written framelits they are both carrying over but the bundle where you can get both of these together at 10 percent off that will be retiring so if you decide you need love <laughs> look at all of these this is a huge die set too so we're going to use this one right here that says wishes um let's see could i even tell you what the other ones are <laughs> there's a cute birdie i see that some flowers Oh my gosh, um, we're gonna have to look in the catalog because I, I would struggle here all day long to tell you what all these are. But a great set of framelits, I'm telling you. Um, like I said, you can do the fun things with, like I've done here where you stamp one part of the sentiment and then you die cut the other. I love that idea, right? Okay, and then we've got our new Rococo Rose ink pad. Okay, so let's skip these guys out here. Right, um, okay. Oh, where's that? Oh, so I have had too many things going on. I need to go grab the punch too. I was doing that on another, using this punch on another project. Um, so let me go, hold on, sorry, one more sec. And thank you guys for loving these, <laughs> Louise and Philomena. I appreciate it. isn't too far away from where I film these videos. <laughs> okay, so my little um, paper saving trick, because we could only order kind of limited quantities of this in color um, cardstock. So if you can see, I'm punching right in the center. I don't want to get too close to any of the edges here um, with my punch. So I just need a couple of those. This is the little uh, four petal flower punch, okay? Um, because I am going to layer this piece right on there so you won't even be able to tell that those are back there, right? Okay, we're gonna scoot those guys out of the way. I want to, um, let's stamp our little flowers in the corners of our Whisper White piece here. So let's see, okay, make sure. So we're gonna stamp one right there, so cute. And I'm gonna flip this one over so it's kind of going in a different direction and then that one right there right oh let me tell you dimensions too while i'm thinking about that so we have this is this time i am using sahara sand cardstock okay let's see so we have our eight and a half by 11 piece of sahara sand cardstock we cut it in half along the 11 inch side at five and a half inches. And then along the eight and a half inch side, we scored it at four and a quarter inches, okay? So there's our card base. Then we have our piece of Rococo Rose cardstock. I'm gonna, <laughs> I can't stop saying that. I love saying that name. This is three and three quarters by five inches, right? And then our Whisper White piece measures three and a half by four and three quarters, okay? So we have all these guys. We can actually, let's adhere these little bits. Okay, that one on there. And this little baby goes. So if you don't press too hard, you can kind of wiggle and move that around and get it where you would like, right? Then I need my Rococo Rose ribbon. I'm going to just cut that strip off and we are going to adhere it around the back 
let's see, maybe right about there looks good. Okay. So I want a good amount of adhesive to make sure my ribbon stays where I put it, okay? And kind of draw that across and tack it back on the other side. Then I want to put a good amount of adhesive on this piece also because I've got two pieces of cardstock that I'm trying to make sure stay on my card. We're gonna pop that right on there, right? Then we can actually add these little babies. I'm gonna do everything and then we'll do that die cutting at the end. Okay, so we need to just put a little bit adhesive on there. And then this little flower goes like that. I kind of bent the corners up of that one. And then I'm gonna put a couple of dimensionals right there. I This is kind of a funny little thing, but I don't like to put one dimensional right in the middle because then it seems like it always sits on there and then it kind of wobbles around. So if I put two, they'll end up kind of on top and bottom and a little bit on the ribbon. And I think that just kind of helps hold everything in place a little bit better. So we're gonna put those maybe right about there, right? Okay, now we need to stamp. This is just a little half inch strip of cardstock. Um, again with my Rococo Rose ink pad and then I've got my little birthday sentiment and I'm just gonna stamp that right on there okay all right and I just snipped this off yes the in color ribbons are beautiful aren't they Philomena I love won't get tired of playing with those for a while okay so I'm gonna put some dimensionals on the back I'm gonna use my little baby dimensionals on the back of my birthday or is that no oh yeah this is birthday right so my birthday now I'm going to use just this little strip of Rococo Rose cardstock and we're gonna die cut the wishes part oops I always leave that right where the big shots gonna go you'd think I'd learn to like move it out of the way a little bit okay so we have our Rococo Rose cardstock we have the wishes that's kind of winging all over. Some days it happens like that. Okay, and then our other, so one clear cutting pad underneath your paper, your die facing down so the ridge is cut, and then another clear cutting pad on top. And we're gonna scoot these babies out of the way, and I'm gonna, oh yay, <laughs> good, it worked. <laughs> I was hoping, I'm like, I didn't bring my little paper piercing tool either, so that was, Phew. All right. That worked well. See, I had that all planned out, ladies. Wink, wink, wink. Okay. I'm going to grab my little silicone craft sheet again right here, and I'm going to add. So this is the perfect time to use your little silicone craft sheet. And do you see I'm not running one strip. I'm kind of just trying to do little flicks of adhesive on there. Actually, we're going to put that on in a sec. I'm going to put the birthday, and then I'm going to do the wishes. <laughs> Oh my goodness. So I miss, I'm seeing some comments and I'm not sure what they relate to. I'm going to have to go back and, and watch because I got so into what I was doing there and then just put that one down. And if you rub, let's see, make sure that's tight. And then you can kind of, you know, if you've got little bits of adhesive where you don't want them, if you rub to kind of hold it down, you're also kind of rubbing off that excess adhesive too. Okay. Last step. Oh, seriously, ladies. I was so prepared, but then I went and made a video with all these cards, and then I put stuff away. That's why I didn't have my big shot, I didn't have the punch, and I don't have these little. <laughs> okay, so just pretend I have my flower faceted gems, and I'm gonna put one of those right on the center of that, and it's gonna look exactly like that one, right? So, shoo, okay, I did it. <laughs> Sometimes I'm not so sure. Oh my goodness. Thanks for hanging with me, ladies. I feel like it's kind of like a comedy of errors, which it wasn't supposed to be. I thought it was really on top of things. So, okay. Anyway, just to do a quick recap, all right, you are going to get the projects, these two awesome projects that I demonstrated. If you put an online order in of at least $30 by next Wednesday, your name is also going to go in the drawing. Uh, nope, not this. Your name, oh yeah, 
is going to go in the drawing to win the Everything is Rosy stamp set and thinlets with your $30 order. And then if you bump your order up to $50, you are also going to get a package of the flower faceted gems. So lots and lots of good stuff. Make sure you use that new host code, the G7R2SRES. Okay? So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, make sure, hopefully you've got kind of a wish list of things that you're wanting to get out of that new annual catalog. We've got the awesome new uh, paper, all of the new ink colors, so much good stuff. You're gonna, it's hard to pick which thing to order <laughs> first, right? So thank you. Oh, thank you, Philomena. I'm glad you like those cards. And, and thank you as always for sticking with me and in, um, being a part of Facebook Live. I love that. So thank you guys. Have a great weekend and we'll see you all next Friday. Bye everybody.